thanks for coming back to my channel. So I wanted to bring this quick video to you because I have stumbled upon something so awesome and I just wanted to bring you a awesome quick video with the demo of how I have been cleaning my brushes as well as my beauty blender and real technique sponges. You guys are not gonna believe this. Okay, so we know Beauty Blender costs $20 a pop. We know Real Techniques, it's not that expensive, the sponge is about $6 a pop. And we want them to last. We want our brushes to last. We want our the cleaning process not to be too harsh um, where it's gonna tear up our product. And Beauty Blender, it's already $20 a pop and then they charge like at least $15 for the solid bar cleaner to clean the beauty blenders as well as you can use it for other things. Well, have you all ever seen this? It is a detergent soap. No, I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not being sponsored by them. I wasn't even sent this soap. I actually went to Walmart and purchased it myself in the detergent aisle, not in the soap aisle where you'd find your Dove or your Caress soap or anything like that. This is in another aisle, it's a detergent aisle where your Tide is, your Tide, your Gain, all of that, your Extra, whatever. It is a bar of soap, it is huge. I have it upstairs, but I'm just gonna put the picture here because I wanted you to see what the bo what the actual packaging looks like. Z-O-T-E, soap, Zote soap. Super thick, pink, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna give you a demonstration of how dirty my Real Technique and my Beauty Blender was. Now my Beauty Blender, it might need to be thrown out because it's kind of stained, so the stain won't come out perfectly, but the Real Technique sponge, I didn't get too long ago, and I've used it quite a few times, and I'm just showing you how I washed that and how clean it got. Not only that, that 130 brush that I used from MAC Cosmetics, I hate, hate, hate cleaning that brush. I absolutely hate cleaning that, cleaning that brush because I use it for my contour. And my skin is already dark and so the contour that I use is even darker and it takes forever to clean the uh, brush. I could not believe it when I rubbed that across that Zote soap and it cleaned so perfectly. I just, I just, I was just so excited. I think I was so excited too because I clean my brushes, my kit brushes, all the time. I do a wedding every single weekend, if not two. So I'm cleaning them after my Friday wedding, I'm cleaning it after my Saturday wedding, like deep cleaning my brushes. And it is so much to do that sometimes. I usually soak them for hours in Dawn dish detergent, which has antibacterial agent. And I said, hey, why can't you use Dawn dish detergent? Because they use it on animals that we save from the wild. We use them for, you know, little ducks that have oil all over them and it's gentle enough for them and they are living animals. Why can't you use it on your brushes that are real and synthetic? So it gets the bacteria out of it and that's what I like to do. I put a little bit of that on there too because I'm not, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that Zote does not have an antibacterial agent in it to take out the, the bacteria out of the brushes. So the demo is here just of how I clean those brushes. I hope that you enjoy it. Run out and get it. I think the bar of soap is about $4, maybe $4 and some change, something like that, but nothing to break the bank and it's gonna last you forever. I just keep my soap, as you can see in the video, on a little glass um, saucer and I just store it underneath my kitchen sink or my bathroom sink, pull it out when I'm ready to use it. So hope that you all enjoyed this video. And I, if you like this makeup look, it is really old. I did it about eight hours ago. I just kind of put, uh, I used, um, did I use, oh, I used the Anastasia Amrezi palette, just the outer corners. This is like the colored chocolate in the outer corners, or it might've been the Maya Mia palette. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's the colored chocolate in the outer corners here and in the inner corner. Right here, I dabbed on a creamy uh, Christian Dior um, eyeshadow that you saw in one of my hauls. Feline eyeliner underneath. And then this lip is Tootsie lip, uh, the lip pencil or lip sticky from um, ColourPop, and then I put Floor Bunnett's lip, um, lip glass on top of that, and then the liner is Cyber World from MAC Cosmetics. So um, the Floor Bunnett's lip gloss is also from MAC Cosmetics, and um, just have some shimmer. So if you all want to, want to see this look, make sure you give me some thumbs up, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you in another video. Make sure as always to do your monthly breast check, and I'll see you in another video. 
Alright guys, here's a full demo of how I clean my sponges and brushes. Now this is the Real Technique sponge as well as the Beauty Blender. Real Technique sponge is not as filthy as the Beauty Blender. Alright, so now you've seen Belle's Filthy Brushes. Now this is my MAC 130 brush that I was telling you all about. I contour with this and I mean these are pretty filthy. I just can't believe how well that this Zolt cleaner, this is the Zolt soap, it really cleans your brushes and sponges. So I'm just going to run some warm water and I'm going to just take my brush around it once. Now this is twice I'm taking it around, just kind of looking at it a little, little bit. Now I'm squeezing it out. Look at this brush. Yes. <laughs> the synthetic part has gotten so clean. And then what I'll do after that sometimes is soak it in the Dawn dish detergent for the antibacterial agent. Now this is my beauty blender. I'm just taking it in there and really getting the soap within that. So I'm taking it back and forth in the water and just out of the water just so I can lather it. Squeezing it. You really want to lather it up well. And just keep going back and forth. Same thing with the Real Techniques brush. You want to make sure to keep squeezing it just to get the soap out of it because the more you squeeze it, of course, it's going to get inside of the beauty blender. That's what you want it to do. And I like this soap because it doesn't have a strong smell. It just, it really smells like much of nothing. So it's not like it's gonna make your brushes smell funny or anything like that. Just very fresh. And as you can see, look at that. Now the bottom got extra clean. The top, not as much because I think it's just stained. So now this is the Real Technique sponge that I've used quite a bit. And just kind of taking it and really I had to just do this just the one time pretty much but of course I probably took it through a little bit more after the video but this is once of really just squeezing it through rinsing it and then look. And those are the three things that I just cleaned. The 130 brush, the Beauty Blender sponge, and the Real Techniques. Unbelievable. Now I'm gonna show you how I wash my brushes after soaking them. So these are my brushes that I use actually in my kit. These are not my personal brushes. So I like to soak them in Dawn dish detergent. That's what I told you I like to do. It has the antibacterial agent. Not all Dawn soap has that. So you just want to make sure that it has it across the, um, the bottle, that it has the antibacterial in it. And this lip brush was had Ruby Woo lipstick. You know how red that is. And look at this. Yeah, the wood came off of the brush, I know. This is the antibacterial soap, and you see how it reads it right there, antibacterial soap, so make sure. And it's gentle enough to use on animals, that's why I feel like I can use it on my brushes. And then I just go through and clean the rest of my brushes, that's pretty much it. And anything that seems like it's not really getting clean, it has too much foundation really packed into it, or a little bit too much color, I just go ahead and use the soap. So that is what I do. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, guys.